Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is now time for the uh, second playoff. I already did the Michigan versus TCU uh, playoff game in the Fiesta Bowl and we are doing the Peach Bowl now. Georgia number one uh, defending national champions versus Ohio State who is number four. Georgia is 13-0 and and they have the one good win versus a 10 win or better team. Uh, that's Tennessee who was 10-2. and Ohio State is 11 and 1, and they have no such wins. Their loss, uh, only loss, was to Michigan in the game. Uh, we're going to talk about some team stats. We're going to talk about some player stats, and then I will give you a couple of notes and give you my prediction for the game. Points per game Georgia is getting 39, which is 11th in the nation, and uh, Ohio State defensive. Uh, points per game, they're giving up 19, which is 13th of the nation. So a big discrepancy there. Both these teams, uh, stat-wise, are going to be in the top so of all these categories. Um, except for one that surprised me, which we'll get to here in a little bit. Uh, yards per game, Georgia is getting 492, which is 7th, and Ohio State is giving up 304, which is 11th. Uh, rushing yards per game, Georgia gains uh, 207 yards per game, which is 18th, and Ohio State gives up 120, which is third in the nation. And passing yards per game, Georgia gets uh, 285, which is eight, uh, 19th in the nation, and uh, Ohio State gives up 184, which is 14th in the nation. Now let's talk about Ohio State's offense versus Georgia's defense. Ohio State is getting 444.5 yards per game, which is second in the nation. And Georgia is giving up 12.8, which is second in the nation. Yards per game, 493 for Ohio State, which is sixth. And Georgia's defense is giving up 292, which is ninth. Uh, on the ground... Uh, Ohio State's getting 199 rushing yards per game, 28th in the nation. Georgia is giving up 77, which is first in the nation. And passing yards per game, Ohio State 294, 14th. And right here, defensive passing yards per game, 215 for Georgia, which is 51st in the nation. Uh, I had no idea. I guess most of that was uh, probably Tennessee and LSU and, you know, some of the better teams. Uh, 215 still a uh, respectable number, but that just kind of surprised me a little bit for a Georgia defense, and it doesn't bode well going up against this offensive passing attack that Ohio State has. Let's talk about some players. Uh, quarterback, Stetson Bennett for Georgia, 68% on the season, 8.7 yards per completion. He has 20 touchdowns and 6 interceptions. At running back, you have Kenny McIntosh, 709 yards, 5.2 yards per carry, and 10 touchdowns. And Dejan Edwards, 681 yards, 5.4 yards per carry, and 7 touchdowns. Uh, for tie at tight end, you have Brock Bowers, 726 yards, 14 per reception, and 6 touchdowns. And you have Darnell Washington, 415 yards. 16 yards per reception, two touchdowns. At wide receiver, you have uh, McConkie, 675 yards, 13.2 yards per reception, five touchdowns. And you have Rosemary St. Jack at uh, 303 yards, 11.2 yards per reception, and two touchdowns. And out of the backfield, Kenny McIntosh also has 499 yards receiving, 12.1 yards per reception, and one touchdown. For Ohio State, C.J. Stroud is 66% completion percentage on the season, 9.4 yards per, per completion, 37 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions. Mayan Williams, 817 yards, 6.5 yards per carry, 13 touchdowns, and Dalen uh, Hayden had 510 yards, 5 yards per rush, and 5 touchdowns. At tight end, you had, oh, and by the way, uh, I guess Travion Henderson will be out in this game. Both teams have some injuries. That they've had them throughout the season. 
Um, Smith and Jigba hasn't played since the Notre Dame game. He will not play this game. Um, and, you know, like I said, both teams are kind of banged up and hurt right now. But uh, uh, like Uncle Lou says, every team is hurt. That's not an excuse. You still have to go out and win the games. At tight end for Ohio State, they really only had one that I could see that had any kind of yardage. Uh, Cade Stover, 399 yards, 11.4 yards per reception, and five touchdowns. At wide receiver, they got three really good ones. Uh, Harrison Jr., 1,157 yards, 16.1 yards per reception, to uh, 12 touchdowns. Uh, Agmeka Egbuka, 1,039 yards, 15.7 yards per reception, and nine touchdowns. Uh, those two are both top 18 in the nation in yards. And then they also have Julian Fleming, 462 yards, 15.9 yards per reception, six touchdowns. These defenses are both um, good. Georgia's is really good, maybe the number one uh, defense in the nation. Uh, it's a lot like uh, Michigan's bend, but don't uh, bend and attack, but don't break. Uh, keep the def uh, keep the off opposing offenses out of the end zone. Uh, Ohio State's is good, but predictable. Uh, kind of reminds me a lot of Michigan's under Don Brown. Aggressive, but really no uh, disguise and strategy to it. Uh, and a note here, Georgia has the second leading scorer in the nation, uh, Jack Podlinski, their kicker. So that could bode well for him. It could be the difference. Uh, he's second and uh, behind Jake Moody, who is uh, the Michigan's kicker, who is number one in the nation in scoring. Uh, I guess that excludes quarterbacks. Um, you know, it's it's a tough. When I did my uh, bowl game predictions and playoff predictions, I had Georgia winning and just kind of glossed over it, knowing that I would be doing this preview when I got a chance. And I've had a lot of time to think about it. Um, Ohio State has a sour taste in their mouth. They did not like how the game went versus Michigan. They got a second chance, and uh, if they're anything like Alabama of old, when they get a second chance, they really uh, uh, capitalize on their opportunity. Will Ohio State do as such? As much as I would love a rematch uh, versus Ohio State in the national championship game, I think it would be awesome, and it would get the best ratings, uh, but it's Really not a national championship unless you beat an SEC team, right? Which Ohio State, I guess, would have done. And then uh, I guess Michigan just beats them again. And uh, I guess de facto, they kind of beat Georgia. Michigan has to play Georgia. I think Georgia wins this game. Uh, and it's going to be really close. Either way, it's a rematch for Michigan. Uh, Georgia from last year's playoff or... Ohio State from a few weeks ago. I like Georgia to win this game. Like I have previously said, it's going to be close. I think it'll be low scoring, uh, relatively low scoring for these two teams. I think Georgia's kicker does get it done. 31 for Georgia and 28 for Ohio State. Uh, like I said, I think Georgia's going to be able to move the ball, throw it downfield. They like to do them flanker screens, just throw it out into space and let the receivers and tight ends uh, uh, do the heavy lifting. Uh, Stetson Bennett is accurate. Uh, he takes care of the ball for the most part. So does Stroud. This is going to be a game of, I think, who's going to score the ball last. And who can get that key stop when needed? And I think Georgia is more fit to do both of them things. Uh, so there you have it. I think Georgia comes away with this one, 31 to 28. And uh, I will do a national championship preview uh, once we know who the teams are that win these playoff games. I will do a preview for that that week. So there you guys have it. Remember to like the video, share, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you know when my next video will be posted. I'm thinking about doing the uh, college basketball resume ranking, uh, the initial ranking here Sunday. So stay tuned for that. And remember to have a great day, everybody. Thank you.